And tonight, Eight on Your Side is learning more about what the school day during the pandemic will look like in the Bay Area's largest district, Hillsborough County. School leaders again held a town hall meeting to answer questions from concerned parents and teachers. Justin Shecker takes us through some of the changes coming to the schools. The health and safety protocols meant to protect Hillsborough students and staff will be noticeable from the moment children board the bus. The bus driver is going to be wearing a mask. Every student's wearing a mask. We're wiping down the high touch points, and hand sanitizer will be provided to every person that gets on that bus. Students, teachers, and staff will receive three reusable face coverings from the district. Once inside the school, administrators admit social distancing will be a challenge. Procedures and routines that we do in elementary school are going to be now something we're going to do in middle and high school. The plan is to have staff watching the hallways and for there to be signs directing students to walk on the right side. A lot of times the hallways get congested because groups of friends in a normal high school pattern are going to sit and talk to one another. We understand that's part of it, but under, this, under the new conditions of COVID, that's not something that we can allow to happen. Superintendent Addison Davis says students learning at home might need to take a test at their school to ensure fairness. And I'm saying this openly today, there, there may be a requirement for those who are taking e-learning that will have to have scheduled assessments to come into our, to our brick and mortar schools. School leaders address concerns of parents who have children with disabilities and are on individualized education plans. This is a most unique population that requires a great deal of flexibility in the kinds of things that we might do with them. <clears throat> Obviously satisfying requirements of an IEP, but even more importantly, satisfying the needs of the kids on a daily basis. Temperature checks will be required for employees, but not for students. The school year still begins for teachers on Monday, July 31st, even if the school board decides this Thursday to delay the start of classes until August 24th. In Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.